My name is Andrew Perry Norton. I'm a farmer and commoner in the New Forest. Commoning itself in the New Forest has been going on now for generations. Originally, the New Forest was founded in around about 1080 by William the Conqueror. There has always been a forest here, even before William the Conqueror, and all that William the Conqueror did was expand on it. In time, what he tried to do, or the, the monarchy tried to do, was try to sort of give something back to the common people, and that's where the word commoner came from. So what he did, he granted rights for commoners to be able to start using the new forest. And we then had the rights to turn animals out. Where we are, up on the northern commons, our rights were slightly different. Our rights were given to us by our lords of the manor and not by the monarchy. And our rights were in existence probably well before the, founding, found, well, the foundation of the new forest. We have the right to pasture, which is turning out our cattle. And then also we have the right to estovers, so we can collect wood. We have the right to turbury, which is collecting turf. And then probably one of the most famous of all, the right to pannage, and that's turning out the pigs in the autumn. The pannage season normally starts around about sort of October the 12th, I think it is, and normally runs up until maybe a couple of weeks before Christmas. And what do they do, the verderers, which is like the, almost like a magistrate in the forest, extend the pannage season. And they do that because acorns are poisonous to the ponies and the cattle, but not to pigs. Pigs hoover them up, don't they? So they, they hoover up the acorns and they develop this fantastic flavour. And from, say, from the acorns and the beech mast. What we find, what makes it unique, I think, compared to a lot of meat that you can probably just pick up off the shelf, A, it's the quality, but also the animals are, I suppose, as near as you can get to being completely free, aren't they? They are. They wander about the forest grazing on all the natural grasses um, and because of that, the, all the different herbs and things, it does give the unique flavour to the meat. As we said, they've roamed miles and miles through the enclosures and through the woods and it just produces unique flavour. And I think every year, don't we, we virtually sell out. We do. I mean, this year, for example, we all our panage port was sold before the pigs even went out onto the forest with pre-orders. So people start ordering in July and August, although the pigs don't actually go out till September or October, usually October. I think the secret's out now. I think if uh, it, more and more people now, we're getting inquiries from Liverpool and up into the Midlands, and we're selling more and more. So um, more and more pigs going out, I think. Benefits everybody.